Hello students, welcome to Allen Overseas. In this video, we will be learning how to solve the logarithmic inequalities. In our last video, we have seen how to solve the logarithmic equations. If you have missed those videos, just check the links in the description box. Now here in a logarithmic inequalities also, we need to check whether uh, the solutions are right or wrong after solving because uh, when once we have the solutions, we need to put back those into original equations so that logarithm should not have input as negative, logarithm's base should not be negative, logarithm base should not be 1 and definitely base and number whose logarithm we are calculating should not be having uh, like 0 value. So let's see a uh, few of the uh, concept based on the logarithmic inequality. So whenever we have log of f of x to the base a, look here the base is a and second log also has base a. So these bases are same, then we are having one log term greater than other log term. Then eventually many of the students will say that this f of x will be greater than g of x. But that's not always true. Even though log of f of x is greater, we can't say that f of x is greater. You know when it happens? It happens in such cases wherein base is less than 1. So whenever your base is between 0 to 1, this will reverse, like f of x will be lesser than g of x, though the log is greater. But when base is greater than 1, you know, whatever is greater, that function will be greater. Like here, log of f of x is greater, though f of x is greater. If log of g of x is smaller, g of x will be smaller. So things will not get reverse. Like suppose if I say that I have here an equation which is inequality, which is saying that log of x to the base 2 is greater than log of phi to the base 2. Then definitely as base is 2, which is greater than 1, you can say that your x value is greater than phi. But on the other hand, suppose if I just eliminate this base 2 and if I write here 0.2, now the base is between 0 to 1. So what do you say? Will x be greater than phi? No. In such cases, you need to say that x is not greater than phi then you should conclude here that x should be less than 5. So this reverse way of things happens whenever the base is between 0 to 1. Even suppose from logarithmic equation you are converting it to indicial equation like we have here log of x to the base 0.5 suppose is greater than 1 then, and you want to convert this equation into uh, indicial equation then you can write here x is greater than 0.5 which is a base raised to 1. Will it be correct? No. Because your base is 0 0.5 between 0 to 1, you need to reverse the inequality sign. So these things you should keep in mind while solving the inequality based questions. Now let's see the questions based on this. We have a very first question here is log of x square minus 5x plus 6 to the base 0 0.5 is greater than minus 1. So if I just convert this into uh, indicial equation, exponential equation, I can write this x square minus 5x plus 6 will be greater than or less than, will be greater than 0 0.5 raised to minus 1. If I write this, then that is wrong because here the base is 0 0.5. So I need to change this inequality sign. So you are getting here x square minus 5x plus 6 is less than 0 0.5 raised to minus 1. 0 0.5 is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 raised to minus 1 will be definitely just 2. Okay. So take this 2 on the left side, you get here x square minus 5x plus 4 is less than 0. While solving the inequality, you must keep 0 on a right side so that you can further use wavy curvy method to get the values of x. So after solving this quadratic equation, you will get two factors of this quadratic equation. One is x minus 1, other is x minus 4, which is less than 0. If you put these roots 1 and 4 in ascending order on this line of x, and you can't take here because here we do not have equality sign. So we can't consider these roots as our solution. So I'll put here open circle and on a right of uh, greater root, we generally get positive results. In between we get negative and here on the less than one, we'll get negative. Again positive, sorry. So actually we need negative, like we need less than zero means we negative. So this range is acceptable. So this inequality is saying that your x value should lie between where to where uh, from one to four excluding 1 and 4. So we should not include 1 and 4. So here open bracket 1 to 4 is the solution I am getting. But is that final solution? No. Because you know between 1 to 4 there could be some numbers which will make this x square minus 5x plus 6 term negative. Because we are finding here log of x square minus 5x plus 6. So this must be positive. Must be positive. 
So you just need to check what are those values of x between 1 to 4 which are making this negative and those values of x you should not take. So let's see what we get after solving for x square minus 5x plus 6 as positive. So if x square minus 5x plus 6 is positive, you can just factorize this again and you can solve using baby cubby method. So you get here one root as x minus 2, other root as x minus 3 and this is greater than 0. So you can put them on a x line again. So one root is 2, other root is 3 and again here we do not have equality sign. It is strictly greater than 0. Therefore again you can't consider 2 and 3. On a right of 3 we get positive, on a left of 2 we get again positive, in between we always get negative. But here we need this to be greater than 0 means we need positive. So this is okay, this is acceptable and this is also acceptable but this is not okay. So this range is not okay. So can you just guess what are the values of x I can take here? So here I would say that x should be belonging to less than 2 means from minus infinity to 2 and then between 2 to 3 is not acceptable but from 3 onwards it is again acceptable but you do not have to consider 3. So you do not include 3 so open bracket 3 to up to infinity. So this is the second values of x I should get. These are those values of x which are making input of logarithm positive and to satisfy this inequality we should have these values of x. We need to satisfy inequality as well as we need to have input of logarithm which is valid. It means you need to take intersection of these two equations. So if you take intersection of these two equations, you will come to know that finally x value should be what? So final x values which you should consider is actually intersection of this 1 and 2 solutions. So finally x you should take from 1 to 4 except between 2 to 3. So 1 to 2 and union 3 to 4 are the final solutions which will definitely satisfy inequality as well as input of logarithm as positive. So this would be our final solution. Okay. Now let us see another question. The question is solve for log of x to the base 2 is less than or equal to here we have equal to sign as well along with inequality divided by 2 by log of x to the base 2 minus 1. If you think you can solve this then just give a pause and try. See here log of x to the base 2 is repeating again and again. So I will put this log of x to the base 2 as t. So I am getting this equation converted as t is less than or equal to 2 divided by t minus 1. But on the right side of the inequality I do not have 0. But I just told you that whenever we solve inequalities, we should make a 0 on the right side. So why not take this 2 divided by 2 t minus 1 on the left side. So you will get here t minus 2 divided by t minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. So if you just cross multiply, you get here t square t into t minus 1 will be t square minus t and then minus 2 in a numerator and in a denominator you are getting t minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Here you are getting t square minus t minus 2 is a quadratic equation whose factors will be definitely t minus 2 and t plus 1 and in a denominator you have a factor t minus 1 should be less than or equal to 0. Now just look this is a wavy curvy method question now because we have some factors in a numerator some factor in a denominator and that whole expression should be less than 0. So what I will do I will draw a line for t because this is the inequality now in t and if I make t minus 1 equal to 0, I will get t equal to 1. So smallest root I get from t plus 1 equal to 0 that is minus 1. So this will be minus 1 and I can take this therefore I will put here dark circle, you know dark circle for minus 1 value can be included in the solution because if I take t equal to minus 1 numerator will go 0 and uh, 0 value is acceptable because here we have less than or equal to 0. Even t equal to 2 is acceptable so that there also I will put dark value. But denominator is what? t minus 1. If I make t minus 1 equal to 0, I will get t equal to 1. So one root of t we are getting is 1, but that is not acceptable. Therefore, here I am putting hollow circle. Because we can't take this value because once we take t equal to 1, denominator goes 0. Means we are getting infinite results or not defined results. So t equal to 1 is not acceptable, cannot be included in the solution. So I am putting here ho hollow circle. Now just look on the right of 2 biggest root we get generally positive. Here in between we get negative. Here I will again get positive and here on the left of minus 1 I will get negative. 
we need this expression to be less than 0. Less than 0 means negative. So whenever it is becoming negative, that is acceptable. So this is OK and this is OK. So what are those values of t which are acceptable here? Yeah. t value acceptable is minus infinity to minus 1, including minus 1. Or another t value which is acceptable is in this range, minus uh, 1 to 2. So another t value 1, not including 1 because here we have hollow circle, 2 what? 2, but 2 can be included, okay? Now just look, what is t? t is log of x to the base 2, which is less than, sorry, less than minus infinity and log x to the base 2 is greater than minus infinity and less than or equal to minus 1. And here, or log x to the base 2 is greater than 1 and less than or equal to 2. So this is a equation in terms of logarithm. If I just convert it into indicial form, then I will get here 2 raised to minus infinity that will be 0. So 0 is less than here x and 2 raised to minus 1 if I take, I will get here 1 by 2. Otherwise, here if you just look 2 raised to 1 will be 2 and here I will get x. So I am just converting this logarithm into indicial equation and as the bases are 2 which are greater than 1, inequality sign will not also change and here I will get 2 raised to 2 that is 4. So two sets of solutions of x values we are getting, one is uh, 0 to 1 by 2 including 1 by 2 excluding 0 and other set of values of x we are getting is 2 to 4 excluding 2 but including 4. So see how we solve this. So this is the way we should use to solve such kind of inequality based logarithmic equations. Now I have a homework question for you. Now you have to try this yourself and just don't forget to give your answers in the comment box to this question. Well, that is all here on the logarithmic inequalities. If you have any doubts, queries or suggestions, you can put them in the comment box so that we can revert you back very soon. Well, so be connected with Alan Overseas for more such interesting videos on JE. Thank you.